Okay, I want to show you something no one's ever seen before. I'm going to be using a new formulation or a recipe on the uh, supercell here. It's uh, so sensitive, it's already destroying um, from use. I'm going to use a pyramidal magnet. I'm going to show you uh, Doppler rarefaction and explain it. And it's also the same thing we actually see from uh, uh, black holes where we actually see intense red bursts of light. And this Doppler rarefaction actually has to do is I can actually see this in person really easy. <clears throat> It'll be somewhat hard to show you here in video, but it has to do with uh, the electro voltage of light itself, uh, red lights towards the red end of the spectrum. If you look in the center of the base of this pyramid magnet, the only way you're actually able to see this is A, a pyramid magnet, and B, new formulation of, uh, I'm, dest I'm destroying this new supercell, but I don't actually have it glued, so I could take it apart and rebuild it in about 10 minutes. If you actually look at the center here, let me actually focus. You'll actually see a red BB. That's about the easiest way to describe it. And what we're actually looking at is a Doppler effect of uh, low frequency light being allowed. And of course, I'm using the term allowed in a very loose sense here. Being allowed to pass to my eyes or to the camera. This, I can actually see this perfectly clear as day in my hand with this video recording device it's a little harder if you look at the center here I'm sorry this is so difficult to see but if you actually look in the center you'll actually see a little red ball but it's not actually a ball it only looks like a ball due to the holographic effect of uh, if I can zoom out here I'm able to see it better Here we go. Now I can actually see it fine. There we go. Here we go. See, this cell is getting destroyed. It's so sensitive that I have to reposition it. If you see here, if I actually zoom in a little bit, you can actually see as I tilt it around, you can see in the dead center of the heart of the base of this pyramid magnet, a literal red ball. Of course, it's not a real ball. The fluid you're looking at is only... A, uh, a couple nanometers thick, insanely thin, way, way, way thinner than a human hair. But you can see as I actually twist it around, you see that? No one's actually ever seen that in the video before. If you actually search, do a Google search on black hole emitting red light, what this is is the Doppler effect. Kind of like when you hear an ambulance coming towards you, it goes, and as it passes away, the uh, frequency... Um, decreases, it gets lower pitch. This is the red Doppler effect of the uh, lower power light being allowed. I use the term allowed, as I've already said, loosely to pass to your eyes. So in the very center here, this red ball, I got my finger in the way, sorry about that. Uh, boy, I'm really destroying this cell now by keeping this uh, very, very powerful pyramidal magnet on the base of the cell. Um, the light is actually passing to the plane of inertia. This is about the most perfect earthly paradigm of a black hole you're ever going to see. Now you can see now, I know you damn well can see, this red light, this red ball. It looks like a red BB or a red pearl. Right there you can see it. At the center of the base of this super powerful uh, pyramid magnet. I can guarantee you no one has ever seen this before in a video, much less had the brains or wherewithal to actually accurately explain it. This is a Doppler rarefaction, or Doppler effect rarefaction of the frequency of light. A red light is lower EV, less potent, and uh, means it has a lower dielectric capacitance, so it is allowed to pass to your eyes, but the light is literally falling. And falling, of course, is the incorrect term. It is literally passing through the plane of inertia, the center of the base of this magnet. This is the actual physical magnet itself. You can see right here, the base of the pyramid. It's actually perfectly square. It just looks slightly rounded here. And this is the center of the heart. And you can see into, quite literally, with the field effect, 
the heart of the pyramidal magnet and that red pearl, analogously, of light. And this is Doppler rarefaction due to the accelerating light, but it's accelerating not towards your eyes, but away from your eyes, and that's why it is red shifted. And there we go, girlfriend, red shifted. Sorry, I had to reposition the magnet because this supercell, you can see how it's burned in here. This is the insanely powerful pyramidal magnet that I was actually using. What then actually defines magnetism is, magnetism is field coherence. What we actually have here is a multiplicative on a pyramidal geometric shape where the magnetism, literally like a fireman's hose, is... Uh, um, I think this one comes up to... Uh, uh, 0.7 Teslas on the tip of this one, where the magnetism is being forced to the geometric shape to uh, reciprocate in the torsional Lamour frequency or the geomagnetic precession at the tips, who actually have incredibly high Gaussian flux right at the tip of the pyramid. This is the one and only time, you know, borrowing, uh, completely barring New Age garbage where people have used the term pyramid power. This is the one true time where you can actually accurately and scientifically and empirically say pyramid power is real. I thought I'd give you a little look of the pyramid itself there. But anyway, boy, I, I got to remake this cell. You can see how it's sunburned. Of course, sunburn is an incorrect word. You see how the cell is burned in. It's so sensitive. I put it over here and uh, let it burn in for a minute. That red ball, the red pearl doesn't matter what you call it, it will reappear. You gotta zoom in a little bit. Let me move it over here, there we go. It's where the fluid's most concentrated. But I mean, there's literally only a quarter of a drop of total fluid over the entirety of this five inch, optically flat double disc. That's all this is, by the way, is a quarter drop of liquid between two super optically flat pieces of glass ring with LED lighting. By the way, if you use fiber optic lighting, the same thing happens. You just have more and more lines. It's like uh, looking at uh, 1080p versus old 360p. There's absolutely no difference other than uh, resolution. It's a perfect analogy. But anyway, at least I was able to show you that red uh, holographic sphere of uh, Doppler rarefaction as the light is accelerating, not towards your eye, but away from your eye. It is, oops, got a hair there. Not my hair, a brush hair. The light is accelerating away from the observer and the camera. So, you saw it here first. No one else has made a video on that, much less shown it to you, much less explained it. I'm glad I was able to do it. And uh, the only way I was able to do that with new recipe on the supercell and with a pyramidal magnet. So, you saw it here first. You could say, I was the first person in the world to observe this phenomenon, and it was explained perfectly well, and logically, and intelligently. And thank you so very much. If you like these videos, click the link below. And uh, that's it. Peace out from Magneto. That's what people love to call me now. They love to call me Magneto. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay.